Good morning. Okay, so my name is Paul. Um, I have entered the Newport Marathon, which is on the 28th of April this year. And I've decided that I'm going to try and vlog it all, build up a little uh, YouTube page full of my running activities for this marathon. This is training day one. I have run a marathon before, uh, back on my 50th year in 2021. I can remember how old I was then. So 2021, so this year will be my second marathon. Um, I downloaded an app last night for a training plan and straight away the app told me that I haven't got enough time to train and I should pick another race. However, with a base fitness level, that I have through park running and just running a couple of 5Ks a week. I feel that I don't need that first couple of weeks and I can just plummet through, changing the plan as I go to suit what I need and where I'm at. So today's just a base run, three miles. They want me to do it at 33 minutes. Well, I normally run um, 30 minutes with my grandson who's 14, so it's gonna be a bit quicker than 33. But that is my first base run, and tomorrow is a bit longer. Now, I'm not going to vlog every single run that I do, because otherwise that's 14 weeks of running. We all get bored. But I will vlog bits and bobs when I'm running, bits and stuff that I'm eating, uh, kit that I'm using, general chit-chat, photographs, etc. And hopefully I'll be able to compile it all into something fairly interesting for you. So keep watching. So my post-run fuel stroke breakfast is omelet, two omelets made out of three eggs and 100 mils of milk and 50 grams of cheese on top of two pieces of soda, soda seeded bread and two slices of ham. So it's day two marathon training and today is long run so I've got 11 miles in front of me. T-shirt, I am actually wearing an under armour just to give me a bit of compression and a bit of warmth. I've just been outside and it's absolutely bloody freezing. It's minus two out there. Don't really fancy it. I really want it back on the sofa, but I know I've got to get this done. So, essentials for this run. Headphones. I've got a podcast to listen to this morning. A pair of gloves to keep my fingers warm and an energy gel. I'm going to take that energy gel because I've got an 11 mile in front of me. So what I'll do is I'll do the 10k, six miles, I'll energy gel to get me to the end. Also going to be carrying a bag, purely because I've got to pick my car up from the garage, so I'm going to end my run there, which means I'll need a jumper to keep me warm. I'll be carrying um, a bottle of water with me as well, so that I can hydrate on my run, because there's nothing worse when you're on a long run than stopping to go in a shop to get some water, or dehydrating and making yourself ill. Ooh, so marathon training day three vlog. Yesterday was a rest day. Um, so I did a bit of cross training, went in the gym, did an upper body workout because you know, when you run, upper body does come into play. You pump your arms and as you move your arms, your legs move, it's natural biomechanics. So if you've got strong arms, you have strong legs. It goes hand in hand. Also, in you running, there comes periods, especially on a long run, where this wind's horrible, that you tighten up, you don't relax. And if your shoulders are that weak, the pain that goes through your shoulders goes through your body and zaps energy. So cross training is a great idea, and I will um, go on about this once I go on, yap on like I do, a bit later on in the vlog. Not this vlog, later on through my training. So this morning, Woke up, looked out the window, thick blanket of ice um, across all the cars. The, I mean, look, still now, hour and a half later, there's still a blanket of ice on the cars. All the trees were frosted, the grass was frosted, and uh, my temperature gauge said minus three. So I sleeved up this morning, put a compression sleeve on, obviously still got my gloves. I won't wear a hat, the heat goes to your head anyway. That's where the heat escapes. If you've got a hat on, it keeps the heating and you get really hot, you overheat, you start to feel sick, you dehydrate. So I tend not to wear a hat when I'm running. But now I'm finished, six miles in the bag, 
I'm going to take this top off. I actually wanted to take it off on about four and a half miles. I overheat too quickly, I feel. Although it's cold in the air, my body's working so hard it's keeping itself warm. Monday, three mile base run. Tuesday, straight off 11 mile run. Yesterday, rest day. Today was supposed to be a three mile base. And then six mile Friday, six mile Saturday. However, because I park run with my grandson on a Saturday, I've swapped today round. So I'm doing six miles today, six miles tomorrow, and then a park run, which is 3.2 miles or 3.1 mile with my grandson on Saturday. So that'll be my nice steady three miler, which will leave me on 25 miles for the week. When you consider I was hitting the gym four times a week and running six miles a week, I have now hit the gym once this week and I'll end up on 26 miles. My training has flipped upside down. And I'm getting a few little information spots uh, on my calf and knees. If anyone knows me, I've had three or four operations through football. I was told I'd be in a wheelchair by the age of 30 if I didn't stop sports. Um, I did stop for a little while. I did also continue playing 11 on side football until I was 47 years old, which a lot of people can't believe. And he's also at the age of 45, I won the player of the year amongst a team of 20 and 30 year olds. So that just sort of shows what my fitness levels are like, my dedication to sport is like, and how I treat my body like the machine that it is. And I know when to stop and I know when to recover. And that is really important when you're doing any sport, especially running and training for a marathon. The commitment is huge, absolutely huge. But then you've also got to know when you recover, when you quit, when you stop, when you miss a couple of training sessions, so not to further any niggles or injuries. Okay, that's enough of you wallop for today. I'm going to do a warm down run, have a coffee, and I will check in maybe later in the week. I don't think I'm going to do a daily vlog because you will get bored to fucking tears. And you'll know it's how much I swear. So the first week is probably going to be daily to really get the momentum going. Then I'll put it out once a week and uh, I'll edge down the amount of uh, vlogging I do.